Hey, what is up, you guys? Trey here. Hey, what is up, you guys? All right, cool. What is up, you guys? Trey here. And today is kind of a somber video, but I thought I would do a little tribute. Um, as you all may have heard by now, Scott Hall, a.k.a. Razor Ramon, has passed away. Um, he went to the hospital, I think, a few days ago for a hip replacement surgery and sadly a blood clot from that broke off and traveled up to his heart caused him to have not one not two but three heart attacks and they had to have him on life support for they've had him on there for like the past couple of days and the family took him off life support today and about 20 minutes ago he he did sadly passed away so i figured we would go ahead and I'm going to do three of his best of his greatest matches. Maybe not his greatest. Well, the, the one obviously is. But I wanted to use both his personas, uh, Scott Hall and... I wanted to use Scott Hall and Razor Ramon. So I picked a match from each of those personas. But... um, So yeah, this will be fun. I have them um, all ready to go here and stuff. So let me... See something real quick. Okay. So the first match that we are going to be doing is Scott Hall versus Sting for the WCW title. Oh wait, no. I'm going to let the computer do it, by the way. We're going to do Scott Hall. And just... Nah, I will just do one, and we're just going to do Kevin Nash. And then Sting. Okay. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Sting is not actually in the game. So, I have to do that. Title match. Yes. Entrance. Yes. Select arena. So, the WCW arena that it was, was uh, Revolution or something like that, um, that is not an arena on here, so I'm just going to do uh, Nitro. On, yes. I just have those on fast from when I play, but we'll just do normal, yes. Oh yeah, one other thing that I do want to do. I want there to be no run-ins. We're going to do the WCW World Championship. Sadly, you don't see the picture there, but it's all cool.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WCW Chico. World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger, accompanied by Kevin Nash, representing the Outsiders from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, as a reminder, the championship is on the line here tonight. And in looking at the opposition, I can say that the champion... I don't know what Sting's entrance is going to be like, considering I had to download him from the Community Creations, so... Oh, there's no music yet. And introducing the champion from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 256 pounds, he is the WCW World Heavyweight Champion, the Icon. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Damn. Well, I know you guys can't hear, but there's no music going on right now. I like that they actually have the baseball bat entrance, though. The pressures of being champion are very real, but this guy is ready for it. Okay, not even going to do the introductions. That's kind of weird how they did that. Look at the adjective. Championship. Sting going right after the leg. For a reason. To be a champion in WCW meant you were among the best in the world. You're right, except for the time that that movie star and the writer won the title. Otherwise, it's pretty much been the best of the best. German suplex. Nice right hand. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. And Sting already going to the top rope. What a splash to Scott Hall. Now trampling the opposition. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. A targeting the shoulder with the claw. He's got it locked in. It's locked in. Escape and a takedown. And takes his legs out from underneath him. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. And Nash up on the apron. Words off that offense from Hall. The face has been planted. Slap. <laughs> just slapping Sting. I like this aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Wow, the power that takes is insane. And an elbow Chip drop from Razor Rope, or from Scott Hall. Crap. Uh, 
Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. On the apron. And another elbow drop. Solid in ring smarts as he exploits his opponent's weaknesses. Stomps to the, the hand. Vicious stomps. stomps to the hand. Drop that bow. And another elbow drop. Fighting back with a counter. Oh. Yeah, he's able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Here he comes. Sliding. Gonna get him back in, in the ring. Into the corner. This can't be good. Oh. And a splash into the corner. Into the cover on Scott Hall. And a kick out by Scott Hall. And Sting went for a stinger splash and got caught. What's Scott Hall going for? Oh, another reversal. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. And Sting impressing with some strength here. Some strength. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Did you hear that impact? I guess not gonna go from the top rope. Scott Hall into the corner. A sting going for in a bulldog. Hall dodges out of that. What's coming What's Scott Hall going for here? Oh, and a punch to the gut. Scott Hall looking for the razor's edge. And he does hit it. Cover on Sting. Sting powers out. Fraction of a second. This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. Man. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Now what's Scott Hall going for here? Oh, just gonna rag doll him into the corner and then down to the mat. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Got Hall dragging him, wants to drag him somewhere to the ropes here. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Oh, Elbow to the back. And Sting was a reversal. Hoisted up. And knee to the gut. By Sting. Sting. Scorpion Deathlock. Is Scott Hall gonna tap out? Is he gonna tap? He's fighting. And Sting just gonna let up. Rolls him into a cover now. And Sting. Beat Scott Hall. Here is your winner, and still WCW World Heavyweight Champion, the Icon. And this one really came down to the wire, but you're looking at the winner who pulled it out. Sting! On the bright side, at least Scott yeah, Hall it. still has the clip <laughs> meeting him behind the curtain. Also, if you guys are wondering, I have Scott Hall's team playing on my headset. All right. So the next match is going to be Razor Ramon. Let me select Arena. Oh, damn, I could have had it at Starcade that match, but that's all right. So, 
so I don't have the SummerSlam ring. So we're going to have to do SummerSlam 88. But there is a WCW ref. What the? Oh, there is a WCW ref. Damn. Old school ref. Custom match rules. Just want to make sure nobody decides to run in on these matches. And it's going to be Razor Ramon versus Bret Hart. And because they're in WWE, we're going to have Diesel in Razor Ramon's corner. There's a reason Saxton dished out money to sit here tonight and watch this on pay-per-view. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Hey, yo. Introducing the challenger, accompanied by Big Daddy Cool Diesel from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 287 pounds. The bad guy, Razor Ramon. <laughs> Let's focus on one of the greatest superstars to ever compete on pay-per-view. Hey, remember his incredible ladder match at WrestleMania 10 against Shawn Michaels? How, who can who can forget that? It was a defining moment in WWE history, and it paved the way for some of the greatest superstars of this era. Oh damn, nice pyro. Here comes the hitman. Oh yeah, the excellence of execution. And introducing the champion, representing the Hart Foundation Hart. from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds. He is the WWE Champion, Brett the Hitman Hart. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be, signified by the championship around his waist. Oh, you can't even barely see it. That's gay. Razor Ramon. Undoubtedly the top title in this company. Oh crap! Should try some mind games. 
I forgot to not choose myself. I hope Razor's got an extra toothpick for you, Cole. How dare you try to coach him up? Razor doesn't need some armchair quarterback, some bookworm telling the bad guy how to fight. Well, we'll see how Ramon plans on delivering tonight. We've got Canada's favorite son on the other side. Damn. There's no question Hart's an elite strategist, but will the hitman be able to carry out his plan as he devised it? Or is he going to have to make adjustments during the course of the match? Okay, cool. He is I seriously right. doubt Brett is having any feelings of distress, Corey. Hart is so versatile that calling it audible is second nature to him. And Razor going to go to the middle rope here, kicking Brett in his face in an axe, double axe Some hand. And an elbow drop. What a big elbow drop there. And a close line. And for Razor Ramon to get the victory here tonight, he has to find that middle ground. Incoming! He heads outside. Countouts legal in this match. Razor Ramon with great awareness. Improving a bit slippery. Bret Hart with punch after punch after punch. Oh, and a big uppercut. Hitman never saw that coming. And a stomp after stomp from Razor. And Razor gonna do damage to Brett on the outside. I don't know if this is a smart decision though. Gotta get back to the ring. Try to make it back to a vertical base. He does just that. Can he pry himself out? Yes. Eight. And now we're getting back into the ring. Just like that, the bad guy and counters. Drops to the knees. And knees to the so side. Damage inflicted. Able to get the advantage here. And a reversal oh, from smash. Brett. And a drop kick sending Razor to the outside. And he's taking this to the outside now. Just breaking down the opponent. And a big bulldog outside the ring. Shifts it back onto him. Razor getting ring. back into the ring here. So is Brett. STO. STO. And now Razor gonna stomp on his oh, arm. Torture their opponent. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. Oh, oh. Man. The stomp it. Throwing Razor into the corner here. The and a body right slam. Now. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. The hitman putting his opponent away. Razor stunned it. here. And Brett looking for the sharpshooter. And Brett Hart has the sharpshooter in. Sharp shooter in. Is Razor going to tap here? And, and he he's trying. And Brett is going to let go. Going to go for the cover here. And Razor Ramon kicks out. Brett is going to go. It looks like he's going for the sharpshooter again. And he gets it again. I don't know if he's going to be able to survive this again. Razor again fighting it. Again fighting. And Brett again lets go. This time he doesn't go for a cover. Brett going up to the middle rope. Jumps halfway across a freaking ring. 
and into a cover. And Brett beats Razor Ramon. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Champion, Brett the Hitman Hart. What a win for him here. He really displayed his prowess in victory. I think Ramon might have been a little too preoccupied with his necklace at ringside. It is a nice necklace. All right, you guys, I have one final match that we're going to do. And if it's the match you guys have been waiting for, you are correct. It is the Intercontinental Championship ladder match between Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels. Now, sadly, in... I don't think I can do a manager, but... Yeah, no, I can't. Select arena. Now, it was at WrestleMania 10. Uh, I don't have WrestleMania 10, so I'm going to go to WrestleMania 21 because it's the oldest uh, WrestleMania stage that I have. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to go to WrestleMania 10. Or 21, I mean. And we're going to have to do it there. You want to make sure there's no run-ins. And we're just going to do ladders. Oh, yeah, and one other thing. And this one is for, if I can find it here, right here, the Intercontinental Championship. Let me make sure that it's that, it's the right one. I wish I had an older Shawn Michaels, but it's okay.
Hey, yo. Dripping gold head to toe, Chico. The following contest is a ladder match and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 287 pounds, the bad guy. You know, many believe that his uh, WrestleMania match with Shawn Michaels, the ladder match at WrestleMania 10, may have been the best WrestleMania match ever. The only thing better than being in an all-time classic match is winning it, which is exactly what Razor did. Razor Ramon climbed the ladder, grabbed the Intercontinental title, beat Shawn Michaels, and Bam. It's it's and he's fixing to make WrestleMania history again here tonight from fighting on the mean streets of miami razor ramon now sits on top of the world one of the toughest men to ever step inside the ring the heartbreak kid is here and his opponent from san antonio texas weighing in at 227 pounds the heartbreak kid, Man, nice Michaels. You know, guys, there's only one Mr. WrestleMania. Almost too many moments to remember. How about the ladder match with Razor Ramon, the Iron Man match with Bret Hart, Ric Flair's retirement match, the classics with The Undertaker. I could go on and on. Hey, listen, we know one thing. When it comes to WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels is guaranteed to steal the show at the Showcase of Immortals. Oh, yeah, this Shawn Michaels has the armband on his no arm for Eddie. Because this, super kick quite as well. this is Shawn Michaels is from the tribute and show. And you unlock him by going through the, um, this year's, um, what's it called? Showcase. Crap, I did it again. Match is underway. No room for error tonight as each superstar is going to quickly realize how it's Sean going after Razor. A quick reversal by Razor. And Razor Ramon with a reversal. And a knee to a gut. Isolating the leg. Leg breaker that had to hurt. Elbow drop right on point. And a punch the right to his face. And an elbow. He's and Ramon going to go outside oh, and get a ladder here. He's back into the ring. He is Shawn Michaels off right and now. Razor That's Ramon. I'm gonna throw a toothpick Taking at Shawn Michaels. To the ring now. Gonna stand the ladder up and wax Shawn Michaels right That's across the face. What is an to Not gonna climb and Razor Ramon gonna match. climb the ladder here. And Shawn not gonna let him get it. Whoa, that felt just lit. Holy crap. I think the risk is worth the reward in this scenario. Tom Michael's now on the top rope. What a splash. What height from Michael's there. Go right to the kidneys. And a kick to the back. Tom Michael's again, though. He's going for the elbow drop. And Razor Ramon moved out of the way. 
Ramon looking for the razor's edge. We're gonna see it way up there. On top of the ladder. Back of his head against the ladder. And he steps foot in the ring. Going to the apron here. I'm not quite sure. And he's gonna pick Sean back up. Pick up a second ladder, and he's gonna bash Sean with that second ladder. Now Razor Ramon's gonna take down that ladder. ladder Set it back up. Sean's back to his feet. Razor's going up the ladder. And he's just gonna get punched. He's not even gonna have a chance. And the belt just goes all wonky again. And a power bomb from Shawn Michaels. Now a camel clutch. Shade. Shades of the Iron Sheet. And Razor Ramon with the reversal. And <laughs> Shawn just kicks the ladder out from underneath Razor Ramon. And Shawn's with the sweet chin music here. And he nails it. And now he's going to put an arm bar on top of the ladder. Surprised Sean didn't go to set up the ladder there. Oh, he wants Razor Ramon out of the ring. Ramon's down on the outside here. Sean is going to taunt Razor now. I don't think that, I don't think Sean can, no, Sean can't get the title. Oh, yes, he can. And Sean's going to have a couple shots here. Misses on the first attempt. Gets one. And here comes Razor up the ladder. Punch to Razor Ramon. And a chop and Razor falls all the way to the ring. Razor again going to start climbing the ladder. And Sean's going to let the title go. Razor missed his punch. Missed the chop. Rakes the eyes. Razor rakes the eyes. And Ramon is busted open. Razor Ramon is busted open. You can see the blood on his cheek. And Razor Ramon pushed off the ladder again by Shawn Michaels. And Shawn Michaels again now. And he just jumped off the top. Shawn Michaels jumping off the top of the ladder. My God. He's going to throw Ramon out of the ring again. And Sean takes the ladder down. Sets it back up. And now Sean going to climb the ladder here. Raise Ramon getting back to his feet. Sean's going to have a couple shots though to get one in. And Sean misses on his first attempt. Missed again. Missed again. Razor's just sitting there. Missed again. Razor finally decides to break it up. And now he's going to stop and go up the ladder. What is going on here? Look at this. That ladder is positioned. And punching Shawn Michaels. Another punch. Banging him off the ladder. And Razor kicking Shawn Michaels. And Razor's going to come down from the ladder? Ramon's going to get out of the ring here. What is going on here, people? Okay, it's obvious that he's not going to get back in the ring, so I'm going to have to take control for a sec to get him to go back into the ring. This one is headed outside, guys. I can't get, but he won't. There we go. And Razor Ramon. What in the world? There we go. And Razor Ramon's going to push the ladder over. Literally, he would have just sat there till Sean won. That's the only reason why I switched over to control him real quick. Ramon throwing Shawn Michaels into the corner. And Shawn Michaels with a reversal. Right onto the ladder. There go 
goes Ramon into a rough and there goes Ramon out of the ring. Sean now looking to set up a ladder. And now he's standing it right up in the middle of the ring. Right where it needs to be. Sean going up to the top of the ladder. Working to unhook here. Victory is within reach. We're going to make a major statement. And a punch, another punch to the face. And Shawn Michaels is going to push Razor Ramon off the ladder. He's going to throw Razor Ramon out of the ring. Setting up the ladder, guys. There it is. Looks like that Ramon back in the ring. And again, he's just going to stand there, I guess. Now he's going to punch Sean. He's going to keep punching him. And Sean drops the ladder. Raise Ramon's going up the ladder now. Ramon has his chance to win this match. Sean's down. Razor Ramon from the top of the ladder. Oh my God. What is going on? And Razor is going to go for the Razor's edge. Wants to buy. And Sean reverses. Sean Michaels is now busted open. This is a war, ladies and gentlemen. We have a war. There goes Ramon out of the ring. Sean now climbing the ladder. Ramon slowly, ever so slowly getting to his feet. Sean's two away. Sean is two away. Razor is standing there. Why are you standing there? Bro! Bro! Why are you standing there, bro? And Razor Ramon pushing the ladder over and then power bombing Sean on top of the ladder. What's Ramon going for here? Into a power bomb. Just power bomb Sean outside the ring. Razor Ramon now going to set up a ladder. He's looking to align that ladder up. And Razor's got to be quick about it. He's going to have to be quick. And Sean's just not even going to give him a chance. There's one to go. One to go. And Sean doesn't even give Razor Ramon a chance. Ramon falling off the ladder. Sean. No. Come on. Get up. Get up. Sean's going to jump off the top of the ladder. Razor Ramon getting to his feet here. And... Cross body from the top of the ladder. Razor and Sean is going to go for the finish. He's going to go for the sweet chin music. And he just stops. Razor Ramon with a punch, but the ladder falls. The ladder falls. So severe, so drastic. I cannot believe Michaels and Razor What a match this has been. Razor going to the ropes, and he throws Sean outside the ring. Razor Ramon. Setting up a Setting ladder. Up Sean's too. out. Sean's out. Look, Razor. Like Ramon has, has a chance. Ramon has a chance. Ramon has. Razor Ramon is the Intercontinental Champion. What a war, ladies and gentlemen. Razor Ramon, the true champion. Intercontinental the Champion. What a hell of a match. Razor Ramon takes the win. And you know, it's kind of funny. These three matches that I did here tonight, the results were exactly the same as they were in real life. Ramon never had a world title. But he did have the Intercontinental title. And Razor Ramon or Scott Hall, if you're listening, we miss you. And hopefully you're up there somewhere. With that intercontinent with that toothpick in your mouth up there. 
Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure you leave a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and tap that bell so you get notified. You know what? No. Don't even. No. I don't want to. Th this was a tribute. I don't even know why I'm saying that, to be completely honest with you. I just. I do hope you guys enjoyed my tribute here to Scott Hall, aka Razor Ramon. And. I know I, I, I enjoyed this too. So. I'm going to go ahead and end it here, you guys, with this picture. Scott Hall. Raise Ramon on a high note, winning the Intercontinental title. And I do have one more thing left to say. Hey, yo.